Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and um, I've decided today to do a repot, if I can lift it up, of one of my mulberries. And actually this is a Pakistan mulberry. I haven't got a label for it. I remember it is the only one that's not labelled, and it is a Pakistan mulberry. I believe it's, <clears throat> I presume, a black-fruited one rather than a white one, but it's budding out quite nicely now, but I think the plant's going to be proved to be extremely root bound now, and I don't think it was doing um, it wasn't doing particularly well last summer, because I think I left it in this pot a bit too long so it's been some time since I've actually done a full, like, repot of one of my pot bound plants so the plan is to put it up it's going to move it if I can lift it up from this size pot into this size pot which is normally as large as I go. Now this is a 50 centimetre pot, it doesn't give the capacity on these, um, this is a Stuart plant pot and they don't give the capacity but I've got a feeling I'll work them out at about 30 litres so uh, something like about uh, roughly sort of seven about seven imperial uh, gallons, which I suppose is about nine or ten US gallons. I think that was the size. It might be larger than that. I'll double check that and see if I can work out what it is. Now, I've drained, I've drilled the hole with loads of um, loads of uh, drain holes. So what I thought we'd do is pop this out of the pot and see um, see what the root system looks like on it, because I think it's going to be pretty pot bound, to be honest. It should come out quite easily for that reason. There, I think you can probably see it's not pot bound, but there's plenty of roots, yellow roots coming out the side. Um, so it's a good time, a good time to get it into a larger pot. So what I'm going to do is just knock the moss off the top first. Interesting mulberries have quite yellow roots. I think you can probably see the top roots there are yellow on it. So what I'm gonna do, apologies if you can't hear me very well, I just want to loosen up the soil on the side of the pot a little bit without um I don't want to damage the roots too much, but I just want to break them up so they can get out. Make their way into the new compost. I think there's a good chance this plant will produce a few um, a few berries this year if I haven't disturbed it too much by repotting it. So let's just move it out of the way and I'll get some compost into... just need to see how much compost I need to get into that pot. What I'm using is a mixture of regular potting compost. I've got some uh, bark in it, I've got some perlite in, just to try and keep it a bit open and also a bit lighter because these large pots get extremely heavy to uh, get extremely heavy to handle pots when the soil gets too wet. Let's check that for depth. Just need to put a little bit more in it. I want to have it planted at roughly the same level it was before. And just leave a bit of space at the top of the pot so that it can uh, you can water it without the water coming out. <clears throat> and the main thing is to try and get the stem reasonably central and reasonably straight. As I'm concerned. If you work the soil, hold the plant roughly in the centre of the pot at the height you want, work the soil down the sides, you'll end up with it being hopefully where you need it to be. Now, as I said, 
said, I think this will probably might produce a few berries if I haven't disturbed it too much by repotting it and we don't get a flash cold spell like we did last year because these new shoots on the Pakistan mulberries are particularly tender and unfortunately it suffers very badly from dieback of the new shoots if if we get any cold weather. Now I would expect this to be I think this will be alright in this pot for the next uh, two or three years and then after that I'll have to make a decision what to do with it. Let me just uh, get the rest of the soil in. Get this to stand up right for me. Just loosely tap the soil down the sides. You don't want it packed too tight because you want the roots to be able to get into the side. And I think that's roughly the angle I want the plant to stand at. One tip I would mention on this, it's best to move it into the position you want it to be in before you water it. Because it's a heavy old, uh, it's a heavy pot to move once it's wet with soil. And I've got the, the roots are just under the surface on this. Again, I seem to be going through compost at an absolutely frightening rate of knots at the moment. Um, I've mixed a granular, slow release granular fertiliser in with this as well. So just drop the, if you give the pot a tap, that should settle the soil and get most of the uh, air out of the roots. Just needs a little bit more and we're done. So that's one repotted Pakistan mulberry. Doesn't need a stake in it anymore, it'll be fairly self-supporting now. So if that drags on a bit, it takes, long, it takes longer than you think sometimes to repot these. And I'm gonna put this back on my deck and leave it, I hope, in a sheltered position in case we get any frost so it doesn't get damaged, I hope. Uh, and try not to knock any of these new growth buds off because they should have berries on them give this a bit of watering and then um, I think it's going to rain all week anyway so it's going to get plenty of water but I'll still give it some water now to help uh, settle the soil. So um, thanks for watching that repotting of my Pakistan mulberry. Please do give me uh, give me the thumbs up. Um, you can share the video if you think it might be of interest to anybody who particularly if they're growing mulberries. Please subscribe to my channel and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to uh, know when new videos come out. I will catch up with you all in the next video. Let's get this plant moved and watered and go inside before it pours the rain on me.